Morty was only five when she was discovered gazing at a dead bird by Madame Trepidovska. Madame, once Asoluta at the Mariinsky, informed the splay toes that the child was to be her pupil. Long years of study began in her ballet school, above a row of shops. Maudie first came before the public as a sparrow in band d'oiseau, devised by Madame to display her students' abilities. Her life was rather monotonous. She became aware of what real ballet was when Madame took her to one of Solopsiskaya's innumerable farewell performances. Eventually, she was allowed to go up on point. Miss Marshgrass, the school's backer, took exception to Madame's interest in Maud. There were scenes. Madame had to be removed to a private lunatic asylum, and the school was shut down. Maud obtained a place in the core of the ballet Oshpo. For the next two years, she danced in the provinces. She was given her first solo as the Papillon Enragé in a revival of Golopin's Jardin de Regret. Others followed. Her life went on being fairly tedious. After Fedorienska did a grand jeté into the wings one matinee and was never seen again, Maud took over Oiseau de Glace to great acclaim. Her parents only once came to visit her backstage. Baron de Zabrus invited her to join his company, the most renowned in Europe. He changed her name to something more exotic. Her life did not cease to be somewhat dreary. Baron chose her to dance a new part de her, Le Corbeau d'Apre et à Peau, with Ibiskovsky. Serge developed an unlikely infatuation for her. The Baron told her that only art meant anything. Plastikov created for her a new ballet, La Chauve-Souris Dorée. It was his greatest work. Serge began to cough a lot and had to go away to a sanatorium outside Zug. Mirella all at once became chic and mysterious. She was seen everywhere with the Baron. She had become the reigning ballerina of the age 
and one of its symbols. Her life was really no different from what it had ever been. She was asked to dance in a charity gala before royalty at Cagnes sur Mer. Over the Camargue, a great dark bird flew into the propeller of the aeroplane. At the gala, her costume was suspended from the center of the stage, while the music for her most famous variation was played in her memory.